everyone. We are in Amsterdam in the Netherlands. We just got here about 30 minutes ago and we're gonna go grab some lunch. But this is the start of our four or five day-ish trip in Amsterdam. So Amsterdam has these canals that run through the city. There's tons and tons of bridges, super picturesque, lots of bicycles. Very um, not car friendly city. We came here last year and we drove and it was a literal nightmare. Yeah, super pretty. The weather is really nice today. It's like sunny, um, but it's supposed to rain for the next four days. So I'm trying to soak up the sun. All right, so we just walked to the Dam Square, which is like the main square of Amsterdam. It's like where the capital is. And so we have the Royal Palace over there. Got some trams going through the city. Lots of shops and museums. Um, and then we have this, I just, brain, my brain just reset. I forgot the name of what this is. But we've got this here. And yeah, it's a pretty big square. Really lively, lots of people. All right, so we're by this canal and the Anne Frank House Museum is in that building. There's a crowd of people right over there by the actual house, the doors to it. We've got this church, it's chiming right now, super beautiful. And there's like this flowery bicycle, which is super pretty. All right, so we tried to get uh, inside the Anne Frank Museum um, and tickets are sold out until Sunday. We're here until Tuesday afternoon. Um, so there's a ton of other museums. They're just all super expensive. And they do sell like a temporary museum card that you can pay like $64 or euros for that will get you into five museums. Um, so I don't know if we're gonna get that yet, but we'll see. It has been a few hours. As you can see, it's dark out now. It's actually not that late, it's only like six. But we are walking by the train station now and it's all lit up at night. Super nice. So I want to show you guys. Let's zoom in a bit. Um, but yeah, there's a train station. It's really big. It's a pretty big, uh, nice building. Still lots and lots of people outside on the street. We've got a canal over there. All right, guys, it's 9 p.m. now. Lots of lights still. People still going on their canal cruises. Lots of people out and about. We're heading back to the hotel now. Okay, so the closest thing I'm gonna show you to the red light district is these, the street with all the red lights on, the lanterns. They usually have windows with uh, people waiting inside, bargaining prices. You're not really supposed to record anything like that. But yeah, there's like a lot of that, so it's the only thing I can show you guys. See, there's lots of people out and about exploring the red light district. Got some occupied rooms here and uh, more on this side. Alright everyone, it is the next morning. We are back at the Amsterdam train station. Today we are going to check out some smaller towns. We're going to head to Zandam first, which is only like five miles away. It's like a 15 minute ride, but uh, yeah. yeah. We're going to check out some of that today and then probably go to some museums tomorrow. We got a double-decker train, guys. It's pretty cool. Alright, we're on the train. We're on the upper floor of it. And we are gonna ride two stops to Zandam. So, only like 13 minutes, but yeah. I love the European public transportation here. So convenient. Okay, so we're actually in Zandike now. Uh, we got off at Zandam and then took another train to Zandike, which is like just a few minutes away. Um, and we're currently walking on this trail uh, to Zans Skans, which is like this little path through um, all these historic windmills and everything. And there's also like a factory for the wooden clogs, which are these wooden shoes that they used to wear. Um, back then. So yeah, take you guys with me. There's a cat in front of me. And that's why I'm not walking. Because my mom is fascinated by the cat. So we pretty much made it. The sun is out. The sky is blue. Basically it's like this little scenic route. And you can see all the windmills over there. And there's a couple little houses. And we're just going to keep walking across this bridge and check it all out. So 
we've made it to this little town area. There's lots of little different shops and museums, and we're just gonna take a stroll through. Such nice weather today. We're inside a cheese museum here. There's a lot of cheese in Amsterdam. They're fake. fake. Yeah, it's fake. <laughs> and we made it into the store, and there's so many different types of cheeses. Like goat cheese lavender, goat cheese truffle, cow cheese red pesto. I haven't even heard of these flavors before. Goat gold, sheep cheese extra gold. What else do we have over here? Young sheep. Rosemary thyme. That sounds good. Honey thyme. Herbs and garlic. Mm. So many different cheeses here. So many. And you can just buy all of them here. All the different flavors I just showed you guys. Yeah, I think I'm gonna try some. I'm gonna try, try the goat cheese lavender. It's interesting. I can taste the lavender. And the goat. Somehow. There's like smoked cheese too. It's pretty crazy. Yeah, they got everything here. Okay, I just tried the smoked cheese. It tastes really good. I like that one a lot. It's like ham and cheese mixed together. I approve of that one. Tried the herb and thyme one, and those were okay. I still tasted the goat aspect of it, but I like the smoked cheese. These are the ones I said that are good. Okay, try, try this. What do you think? Smoked. Yeah, it tastes like ham. Huh? It's a little bit like ham. It's good. So now we're in the clog museum, which is like this wooden shoe that they wear wore here in Holland. And so they were usually used for like work because um, they were waterproof and I think it made it easier to walk through like some of the terrain and you can put straw in them to make them warmer. So basically, there's a bunch of these like, huge shoes here. These are like casual ones, your everyday ones, nice looking. Then we've got the ones for work. So like farmers and other um, trades wore these. And then these are Sunday clogs. So these are special wedding clogs as well. They look, oh, they have like these super intricate wood designs in them. That's pretty cool. And then we have clogs worldwide, so the different ones you see around the world. And extraordinary clogs. Cheese one. Rollerblade one. Got some instruments. Um, this foot one that makes me a little bit uncomfortable. Another foot one and another. One. So they even have a diamond one because you got to put diamonds on everything, of course. Here's some of the machinery that they use to make these clogs. A lot of woodworking and sanding. Here's some of the clogs in progress. Yeah, pretty cool museum. Oh, and now we have all the clogs, of course, that you can buy. I would not want to wear these personally, but to each their own. We got all these pretty designs, and colors, and all that. Very cool. We are starting to leave um, Zandag now. We're gonna head back to Zandam and probably get some lunch, and then go back to Amsterdam. We made it to Zandam. It's a bit windy, but they have this like hotel here that looks like a bunch of houses just crammed together. It's pretty cute. This big green building is windy. Sorry about the noise. Um, but yeah, there it is. And uh, there's not really much else in Zandam, so yep. All right guys, we are back in Amsterdam now from Zandam and Zandijk. Had a good time at those two locations, but we are back. Lots of people as usual. Just came out of the train station there. Alright, 
It has been a couple hours, like five maybe. But we just got dinner and we're walking back. And yeah, this might be the end of the vlog for today because I'm feeling a bit under the weather. But I'll see you guys in the morning. Also, we're walking by the red lights again, so it's not like I can vlog here anyway. All right, y'all. It is the next morning. The sun is out, very bright. And we are currently getting some pictures by the canals, but we're not there yet. We're in the dam square. Um, there is the Royal Palace. We're gonna go in there today at one. So I'll bring you along with me as best as I can because I don't think they want people to vlog. So we'll see. There's so many pigeons out here right now. I think they're feeding them too. Oh yeah, there's a pigeon feeder guy. Here's the palace. We're gonna grab some lunch and then come back for the museum. Back at the... Yeah, back at the dam square. Look at all the pigeons! All the government robots. We're heading into the royal palace now, finally. It's the first museum thing we are going on here, or going in in Amsterdam. Um, yeah, weather is still really nice. It's really cold outside though, so it'll be nice to be inside and check it out. So in this room, this is called the Citizens Hall, and you can see some of the largest maps in the world um, on the ground. And then up there, we have a statue of Atlas, who is a Greek titan that holds up the sky. And then these two clips are just showcasing some of the bedrooms around the palace. And there's a lot of times when there will be guests over at the palace, and they actually stay in these rooms. So yeah, it was pretty cool to see. Okay, we just wrapped up the uh, visit of the royal palace. It's pretty cool, really nice inside. There wasn't really much I could vlog because it's just showing you different rooms and stuff. Um, I don't know if you guys are into that. I feel like every palace and royal place, it's all pretty much set up the same um, tour-wise. So it was pretty cool. I think I got some footage of it, but yeah. All right, we just took the tram and and there's the Van Gogh Museum, which is sold out for like literally the next entire week. So we won't be going there. Um, this is another museum, the Stedelike. Definitely butchered that. Here's the Rijks Museum. It's like the National Museum here in Amsterdam. It's pretty popular. And it's right next to the Van Gogh Museum and the Stedelike or Stedelike Museum back there. But yeah. Okay the actual front of the Rijks Museum and we're not gonna go in it today I don't know if we are I don't know I don't think my mom wants to um, so we'll see all right we were on our way back from the uh, back to the square but we Jesse? saw these really nice canals outside of the tram window so we're stopped and I think these are like super picturesque out here and we've got like this flower market on the river um, I think they're on the other side so we're gonna go check that out here are the flower markets I talked about. It's lots of tulips. Um, pretty sure tulips are the national like flower here. So we've got all these stalls, and there's so many more. We've got all of these. It's got like seeds and all that. I didn't even know that tulip seeds or flower seeds looked like this. Like these look like giant potatoes or something. All right, guys. It's been a couple hours. It's like. 8.30 now, we're heading back to the hotel. Um, it's been kind of hard to vlog in Amsterdam because I, I don't know how to vlog in a city where you kind of just soak it all up as you go, you know? Like in my, in the previous few days in the other cities, it's like there's set things that you go to and see, and so that's easy, but I don't know. I feel like this vlog has been hard to follow, so I'm sorry if that's the case. But yeah, we're heading back to the hotel. We're gonna be here for a full day tomorrow and then we leave on Tuesday morning. There's a train station once again and the moon is out. Very bright, very full, but it's gonna rain tomorrow, so that sucks. And uh, here's a canal. Uh, this street right here with the lights streaming across, this is called Damrak. It's like one of the big streets here and it leads you to the dam square. Um, Here's some houses. Some of these are the Amsterdam gingerbread houses, which we're gonna see tomorrow during the day because we haven't really properly, I haven't properly shown you guys that or taken any pictures of it, but it's nighttime so it's kinda hard to see. But yeah, heading back to the hotel and that's it for today. All right, everyone. 
everybody. It is the next morning and we just took the tram back to the museum's flying area. So Van Gogh Museum is behind me. Reich's Museum is right up ahead of me. Um, and they have like this street of all these shops here. And so we're just gonna spend some time there and check it out as like our last day, full day-ish, and um, yeah, and we'll see where it goes from there. All right, guys, it's like three, four-ish in the afternoon, and the oh, pictures. All right, um, sun is out. It rained a little bit, but sun's out. It's blue skies again. Oh, that looks awesome. It's very nice. Yeah, not this bridge. Um, yeah, we are taking more pictures. Okay, we were just walking down the street and we saw these like green urinals and it's like some kind of sustainable urinal that I guess when you pee in it, it water waters the plants up here. Um, so that's interesting. I'm sitting a little bit too close for my comfort, but that's interesting. <laughs> All right, we're by this bridge area. Super nice, lots of cool boats out here and beautiful sky right now. Look at those colors. And they've got a lot more flower bikes over here. Here's a pink one, very, very cute. And there's a white rose bicycle over there. But yeah. So on the main canals near the dam, near dam square, you don't really see these like boats sitting here on the side, but in Amsterdam, there's a lot of people who live in houseboats. So these are like houseboats there. You know, they're lined up side by side in the canal. I'll show you a view from the bridge, but this is like the less touristy area, I would say. So that's why they're here. And the boats don't really go anywhere. They just kind of live in them. And it's pretty cool. Um, usually when you take like a canal tour, you can drive right by them and see them. But yeah, people live in these homes. That window, whatever we had like a home office with computer and monitors, but yeah. So this is what I meant by all the houseboats. They just kind of park here and stay here all year long and it's pretty cool. I think you can go on YouTube and look up like a tour of a houseboat. But we have some more here and there's like different kinds and variations and they're all super cute. Alright everyone, it's been many hours. It's like 8 or 9 almost now. We're at Dam Square and there's like no one outside because it's a Monday night and because everything closed like two hours ago. So it's a very empty square, a very empty shops. And um, yeah, you can take as many pictures as you want now because there's no one. And it just started raining as I started recording. I'm so unlucky. Hey everyone, it's the next morning. Just checked out the hotel. Oh my God, I look dead. So next morning, um, our train's like in two hours, but we're just walking around and we're on Damrak right now. And I wanted to see the gingerbread houses. But they don't really look like gingerbread houses to me. I don't know. I mean, little little bits of them do. Tell me what you think. I think it's these set of houses. So like, you see the little white marks. There's supposed to be like icing and all that. Um, but I also think it's over there. I guess all of them could be. But I don't know. Let me know what you think. Do they look like gingerbread houses? I double checked. It's actually this group of houses. Those are the gingerbread houses. I guess. A lot of them are tilted, wow. Those are the gingerbread houses of Amsterdam, right here on Damrak. There's the train station. And if we keep going that way, then we get to the square. Um, but yeah, there's that. And we have a very cloudy sky today. Guys, right, so we're walking. I just realized there's a statue of a bull here. And then I realized it's a stock exchange. Because, you know, Wall Street bull. And then we have, I guess, the Amsterdam bull here. And there's not a long line to take pictures with it, like you would see in New York, but yeah, pretty cool. Okay, we're heading to the train station now. Church bells are going crazy in the background, saying goodbye to us, I guess. But we're heading back to Central Station and taking the Eurostar to London. And yeah, we're on the train back to London now. It's going to be about four hours. 